to process serious emotions. You you uh, try to make light of the situation. It's a normal thing. It's it's still fucked up, but the worst part about that impact is that it minimizes the tragedy and it minimizes the um it minimizes the the uh, way that others perceive cutie in that situation. But like I said, this is not like uh, something that Ethan would ride for. I, I don't think. As far as I know. And uh, I'm sure, as, as like I said, he already apologized for it, as you guys were saying. But, like, he'll apologize again for it, as I know he will. But what he should do also on top of that is apologize or talk to, uh, talk to Cutie Cinderella. Okay, directly. I will say, the first, the first thing I did when the stream ended was apologize directly to Cutie Cinderella. That was the first thing I did. I messaged her. I said, I'm so, so sorry. It was super rude and inappropriate. You know, I tried to make it clear that, you know, as fucked up as it was, I wasn't laughing at her. I was laughing about this stupid fucking soundbite because I don't think it's funny what she's doing or what's happening. And so, yeah, I apologized to her. And I also apologized to Ludwig, even though I know it didn't happen to him. But I know, you know, uh, I, yeah, so they're saying I should, I did. The minute that the fucking ended, I messaged her. When I saw it, like, circulating on live stream fails or whatever, I was just like, hey, you're probably going to see this clip of me. I just want to tell you that it was super fucked up. And I, she did respond, but I don't, I don't want to. And Ludwig also said something, but I'm not going to share uh, what what was spoken about by them. But I will say that I did apologize immediately, literally the first second we came off air, because ultimately I just feel bad for her, right? Like whatever you think about the joke or. I don't even know what's the joke. Whatever you think about what happened, like, ultimately, I just feel bad for her because, you know, <clears throat> she was going through something serious, and uh, I, I, to make to uh, the thought of making her feel worse in a situation that's already really hard made me feel really, really bad. And so I'm very sorry to her. Yeah. You can't see me? What do you mean? Oh, because... Uh, um, Hassan was just reacting to it, so I wanted to see. But I wanted to make that clear. Is Literally, I went immediately and I apologized to her. I can read you by message I sent her. I'm not going to read you what she said, though. I mean, she's free to share that. I don't think she cares, though. You know what I mean? I don't think she gives a fuck about me. Or at least, like, in the scheme of things, I think that she probably doesn't want to think about me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not worthy of... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just a stupid fuck. She's not trying to. You, you know what I mean. Thank you. Is it in? <coughs> uh. Sorry, guys, I'm just uh, reposting everything to socials. Yeah, you know, it sucks that this is the only place... I think I'm going to have to make an Ethan Klein video because... We have the steamies on Wednesday, so I'm not really given an opportunity to talk about it in the setting that I would like to. I mean, we can talk about it on Friday, but... I would prefer not to wait that long. Oh, I guess we could talk about it on Thursday with Hassan. Sure, he's mad at me. People don't know what happened. 
I mean, there was, you know. It was stupid, you guys. Oh, yeah, Chestnut. It, well, I the title is Chestnuts Roasting Over Open Fire. I don't know if it should be that or Chestnut Gate. Both are appropriate. Here, I was watching uh, Hassan react to it. And him crying about, uh, uh, I think it was him crying about his dog, who he thought was dying at this moment. And then they fucking flipped it and put Ludwig uh, singing Chestnuts hmm. or whatever the fuck, which is the song that he was playing that he's been like obsessed with, the soundbite. Oh my God. It, 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 again, the reason why I just like, I don't want to talk about this any further other than like, uh, the reason why I don't want to talk about this any further other than, by the way, this is funny. It's a funny meme. If you're like hyper online and hyper obsessed with both of these fucking communities, but it's like, it makes no fucking sense. It makes no fucking sense to anyone else. I'm here to talk about fucking police brutality. Okay. Okay. That's where you're wrong. Uh, I hate to kind of in any way, I'm not justifying what I did, but that chestnut song is fucking very relevant to everything that happens. If you're watching a police beating someone to death, you better fucking hit that chestnut drop. I'm just, bro, I'm telling you, it's something else, and it's not right. It's not right. I don't know what to say, man. That fucking guy ruining my life, bro. Okay. And now you motherfuckers are like, talk about Ethan's response, which I did, which is unacceptable. Okay. It's not good. It's bad. But if you want me to like meme over it further and further and like keep talking about it, keep talking about it. Like it's just at a certain point. Look, here's the pro here's the thing with Hassan. Um, he's like really close friends with her. Okay. So like I get it that he would be upset and that he would. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not I'm not going to blame Hassan for being mad or saying anything about it. Because, like, that's his friend before I was his friend. So, it makes sense and it's fine. I get it. People are telling him to cancel leftovers, which I think is a little bit... A little bit crazy. But here, let's watch... These are clips from before that I found on the on the subreddit. You, you're getting your wishes, okay? You're getting the you're getting your wishes. All the drama frogs, everyone else that that just exclusively is interested in like a uh, blood sport or whatever. I will give in. I will cave to you, and I will describe uh, what happened and what my opinions are. Even though it's like such an open and shut, obvious like Ethan did something very fucking wrong. Atrioc did something. Dude, I wish I. <laughs> I don't want to cause any problems. I haven't talked to Hassan, okay? So I'm just re I'm just reacting to what he said. Because actually, some people are mad at him, and I think that's ridiculous, too. And I think, let's just watch it. Whatever. Very fucking weird and gross. Both are oh, in... One thing that Ethan I do want to say here, actually... Obvious, like... Ethan did something very fucking wrong. Yeah. Atrioc did something very fucking weird and gross. I don't like how he, like, holds them on the same pedestal, right? Like, I mean, I had a really... I did something really stupid. No, I accept that it's wrong. But let's not put it on the same pedestal, at least, right? Like, I feel like what he did's got to be at least a little worse than... I... You know what I mean? I didn't do... I didn't fucking... I could call into a stream. Let's see. Like I yeah, it's like I, I don't I don't like this comparison. That's all I'm saying. I accept that what I did was fucked up. What do you want? I apologize. What are you fucking guys crazy? I literally texted her. What do you want me to say? Do you want me to delete my channel? Like genuinely. I did apologize. Literally the first fucking thing. Because people who are just watching him who don't know anything about me are gonna be like, oh God, Ethan like it's like I'm sorry. It was uh, you know, uh let me see if Hassan wants to talk. But I get it. Hassan's being a good friend to her and Ludwig, which I totally understand. Right? Yeah, don't reach out. I guess you're right. Both are <laughs> indefensible. You know? I mean, what do you no, want? No I, 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 I'm sorry, but saying... I mean, listen, what I did was indefensible, but I don't think they're equally indefensible. 
Okay? Like... Am I crazy? Yeah, I was talking to Hassan. One sec, sorry guys. Just all happening live right now. And then here's this, I guess, here, I don't know. And you should directly apologize to Q. Wait, how am I making it worse? I, 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 I said I fucked up. It's, it was fucked up. It was super fucked up, and I feel horrible about it. And I immediately apologized to her. I don't, I don't. Beauty. What the fuck? You're still associating with him? Wait, what? I mean, look, his, his response is the same of mine. He said, if Cutie tells him, he'll cancel leftovers, which, I mean, she's not going to, I mean, I'd be shocked, but you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what? I fucked up. There's no point in being like, oh, well, this and that is worse, whatever. You know what I mean? That's it. No more chestnut soundbite? Yeah, see, I mean... Am I, I'm not trying to defend myself. Jesus Christ, how am I defending myself? I just said... You know... I don't know. But anyway, I feel horrible to Cutie. I immediately, I immediately apologized. And uh, I mean, look, she's, she didn't deserve that. And what's the saddest part about it is that I, the saddest part about it is that I actually really respect her. And I 100%, you know, think that the pain she's experiencing is totally valid. So I didn't, I, it just sucks that, uh, that I, I made her feel any, any worse in that really horrible situation she was in. I mean, she was super vulnerable and it was super fucked up. So, you know what I mean? That, that's what it is. I can call him the Hassan, or I can make an Ethan Klein video. I'll, I'll call him real fast. Just to clear there. I should rewatch Cutie's video. You really think that's a good idea? I come before you as a man who has fucked up, who feels horribly. I don't know what came over me, dude, in that moment. I'm a fucking demon, dude. I don't even know what to say. Like, the unfortunate truth about my life is that I have a history of doing this shit, bro. And I hate it every time. The first time this happened, I worked for this, in college, me and my buddy were working for this gardener. He was a super nice guy. He treated us great. He even bought us in and out for lunch every day, which was kind of insane at the time. Like, oh my God, it's so generous. Who would do that? Um, and then... We we were talking over lunch, and he told, he mentioned that he was a a Jehovah's Witness. And uh, me and my buddy, he was talking about like some really deep. I I asked, the fucked up thing was that I asked him, um, tell me about what you believe in. Like I asked him, 
And then him being the sweet soul that he is, started to tell me um, in detail what it means. That's fair. The, the Madam You said, Ethan, I don't think you should cover breaking stories during a live. That's actually, that's a pretty good advice right there. Especially like sensitive ones, you know what I mean? That's actually a good idea. <coughs> yes, yeah, so um he start I asked him, yo, tell me about what you believe in. And then he starts telling me. And it well, it was a little bit more intense than I uh anticipated, but he told me just like that the end of day is coming. And uh, we believe in all this and, you know, that world end of the world is right around the corner and uh, the Jehovah. I don't I don't remember, but it was really intense like that. And I looked at my buddy and I just we looked at each other in the eyes. And we I knew in that moment that I was doomed. I was doomed. And I started fucking giggling right in his goddamn face. And I felt horrible. I asked this motherfucker to tell me about himself. And then, um, and then he goes, yeah, I guess it is a little bit nutty. Sounds a little bit nutty. He said that to me, which made me feel horrible. Well, somebody, yeah. Yeah, obviously I regret watching the video. The thing was, like, I was goofing and laughing about him apologizing with his wife, and I was in goblin mode already that whole fucking day after Rebecca Black. I need to, like, step away when I get in that mood. But, um... Well then, okay, so that's not even the worst part. So now we've established, me and my friend, when we stare each other in the eyes, we start laughing, okay? The worst part was like a few weeks later, and guys, this this is horrific. I think I've told this story once, and I'm just saying, like, this is just, this is one, the, probably the most, the worst fucking thing I've ever done. A friend, a mutual friend of ours, we were all into writing poetry and stuff. And, bro, this was so fucked up, dude. I, I told it once before, but oh my god, dude. And, uh... So, fuck. Yeah, don't share. People are saying don't share. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't. I'm just being honest, though. I'm just being honest, right? Like, it's not, it's fucked up. It is what it is. And she's reading a poem about, like, uh, something terrible that happened to her childhood. Something, like, really serious. She's sharing it with us. And, you know, I like this person. I respect this person. I really care about this person. We're friends. And she's reading this poem to us. And I look at this motherfucker and we catch eyes real fast. Bro, I'm telling you, dude. That was one of the worst moments of my life. Because she's pouring her soul out and I literally... I couldn't stop laughing, dude. It was the worst feeling. Like, I wasn't even... It wasn't even funny and I wasn't even like... And it wasn't even good. It wasn't funny. It wasn't good. I couldn't stop laughing. It was horrible. And uh, she kept reading. I think he was laughing too. <laughs> Which is it's so insane. That she's opening her fucking heart to us. And we both start laughing. I mean, it's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. And uh, yeah, that's fucked up. And so it is fucked up. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I did it. Ah. <sighs> 
Yeah, I told that story before. But I don't know why she was reading, she was watching. I wasn't even listening to her, right? I was telling, and I told Zach, I said, play the fucking chestnut song, okay? I'm going to just, I'm just going to lay it all out. And I wasn't even really listening to what she said. I was just, I was just in my goblin head. Like, uh, you know what they call it? Their uh, lizard brain. I was in my goblin brain. And I told Zach, play the fucking chestnut song. It's not Zach's fault at all, by the way. Y'all shouldn't blame Zach at all. Is it the Tourette's people trying to give me an out? It's not the Tourette's. I'm just a fucking psycho. But the point is, is that I don't know why I did that. And I'm really sorry about it. You know? I mean, ultimately, this is Dan's fault for not having a kill switch earlier. Ultimately, we should all blame Dan for this, the tragedy. I tried to blame Zach. It was a shtick. I wasn't going to let him take... I wasn't going to let him take the sword for it. I thought... I thought it would be funny for Zach's, you know, legacy because he, that's his whole thing with the Trisha thing and the, he did it once before. It was the the Trisha one and the Bobby Lee one. So I thought it would be, you know, part of his legacy. It could be part of his legacy. But as soon as he made, seemed, made it, made, voiced it that it, he made him uncomfortable, then I, then I knew I was going to, you know, fess up. You know what I mean? I wasn't really going to let Zach fucking take the heat. Especially since he was uncomfortable. Yeah, but it's Dan's fault. So, Dan did not have the kill switch in time. Your idea of shtick isn't the best. Well. Well, no. You're right. Clearly not. Not in that moment. I told Hassan I wanted to call him, but I'm not sure. Uh, how do we do it? He said Discord. Fuck, I don't even have Discord. <coughs> oh, shit. I'm, I was about to log in right in front of y'all. Hold on. Discord. Do I have Discord on this computer? No. I'm old, you guys. Hold on. I'm going to download Discord. And I'll call Hassan. And I'm also going to probably make an Ethan Klein video. Uh, all right, how the fuck do I log into this shit? Let's see if I have my info. That is not my account. That is not my account either. Okay, let me do, forgot my password. You guys are in real time watching a boomer reset his password for Discord. And this is why we're here, folks. This is why we pay $5 a month. Okay, I got my reset password, guys, giving you the play-by-play -play here. Alrighty. We are in Discord, ladies and gentlemen. Now, how do I do... Okay, oh, right, right, right. Thank you, Dan. Dan told me to make my screen full.
Thank you so much. Now, how do I find Hassan? Am I already in a room with Hassan? Oh, here. I think I am. So, now what? I'm on... I found his subreddit, or his Discord. I don't know why I always find his Discord so fucking confusing. What am I doing wrong? Did I... F okay. Bro, y'all stress me out like I show my password or some shit. I always fuck up on these things. Don't show screen? I'm not. Okay. Hassan, how the fuck do I... Okay, let me message him. What is my name on Discord? Just Ethan Klein? Here, I'll send him a photo. And the, the worst part about this is like... You know what? Let's rephrase that. Not the worst part, okay? But let's say, maybe, can we say the second worst part? Or top ten worst parts. Is that this fucking chestnut song is now Tainted Love. And that's on me, dude. That's my fucking fault. You know what I mean? You know? There's probably there's probably worse parts, so I'm just gonna say top ten to be safe. Just nuts streaming over open fire. Well, what about okay? What about like all chestnut songs, like the original? The original had nothing to do with this. So what? We can't listen to that one now. Like. Chestnuts roasting over open fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he sent something. Wait, he sent something. Huh? Bro, why is this so fucking confusing? He sent something. Am I friends with him? Bro, I'm not joking, but I can't... I'm sorry. I shouldn't be humming it. It's just so stupid. I can't help it. It's fucking... That was the problem from the beginning. Okay, where the fuck... How do I do this? He sent me a friend request. Pending. Is at the bottom? Why is this so confusing? Let's see. Oh, here it is. I think this must be him. Okay. Oh, God. I have so many friend requests, I gotta clear it out. I don't even know how you guys found out what my Discord ID is. Oh, maybe because I have a Discord and my user's in there. Okay, here, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hello? Oh, wait, I gotta change the fucking... I can't see you, by the way. I don't know if you can hear me or not. I can, I see, I can hear you. Can you see me and hear me? Apple device, real tech speakers. Okay, hello? Hello? Yes, hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can't see you, but I don't expect to be able to have you figure that out, I assume. No, right? I no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can do it. Did that work? No, you just turned off your camera. But if you can't see me, how do you know that? Because I can see when you turn on your camera and it's just like a loading screen. Oh, Dan's going to hack in. and Dan, you can hack in and help me. 
but maybe is that a discord thing sorry let's see sorry everybody you are such a boomer oh I my lord don't understand uh, this fucking discord business to be totally honest yeah i, I know this video uh hmm all right, sorry. You know what? Do you want me? Do you want me to have Dan fix it, and then I'll call back, so you don't guys have to do tech support. I mean, it's okay. We could just like, I, I do, what do you what do you want to talk about specifically? Let, let's just let's just get let's just go over it. It's all good. Okay, we, so we can't basically, I just fine. wanted to say that obviously, as soon or I don't know if it's obvious, but as soon as the stream ended, I immediately oh. went and apologized to Cutie. Um, I told her that, you know, it was super fucked up and rude and ridiculous. And the worst part is that I really do respect her and, you know, feel that what she was going through was 100% valid. And, uh, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. And, uh, it was really bad and disrespectful i understand she's a close friend of yours too and it sucks because obviously you don't have, it's not like you have to listen i fucked up and i feel horrible about it and i what yeah. you're you're cutting up it's not like you don't have to and then you cut off uh, the point is is that i fucked up i immediately apologized to her and uh i'm a giant idiot what you know what i mean yeah do you, um did you did you talk to Cutie at all after or no? I don't know because I, I I messaged I, her I, and okay. she 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 responded briefly. I don't want to say what she said, but uh, she she did respond. I also apologized to Ludwig and talked to brief or he messaged me and we talked a tiny bit, but I apologized to both of them. So. Yeah, look as long as if cutie forgave you then that's that, that's what it is it is what it is i mean i don't know if she did or not i, I haven't asked her but well i don't know um, i mean listen, she doesn't have to forgive me uh and that's that's you know what i mean like it was fucked up i fucked up it was super rude i felt horrible for her you know it's like so yeah. what what happened what was going on in your mind when you because my assumption was that you were just you were like uh you know breaking through maybe in a goofy mood through uh the the previous like atrioc uh part of the conversation and then you carried it on because it was like serious you carried it on to like uh cutie's reaction which was like fucked up i mean your reaction was as you also correctly called out yeah i don't know honestly i don't know the whole yeah we were goofing on his video a lot i don't know honestly i don't know what what in my head thought that that was gonna be a funny moment i don't know you know what i mean we were definitely goofing on his reaction and i um, i don't know what i it's hard to justify so it happened and it was cringy and horrible there that you know what i mean i don't really know what to say beyond that okay all right well um all right. I mean, I have I have nothing else. I just yeah, yeah. I like I I saw it. I thought it was you know awful. I didn't think it was like as bad as like uh, what Atrox did or anything. I don't know if that was like a a thing that you thought or whatever, or if it was just like a random thing that got no, misconstrued. No, it's just a stupid but, thing I said. It's nothing. It's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, there it is. You don't. You know what I mean? Like nobody has to fucking forgive me or do anything i just want to say that i'm sorry i apologize to her she doesn't have to forgive me i wish i didn't do it you know if it wasn't live i definitely would have erased it but you know that's that's what it is and uh i you know what i mean what else can i say all right okay all right all right take care talk to you soon all right Bye. have a good one Bye. okay i'm not sure what that was good or not, but I just want, I guess, people to know that uh, it wasn't good. There it is. Let's go to the subreddit.
I mean, I don't know what to say. I like, I, I just, I don't know what. Like, I just fucking, I just do this shit all the time, and it's annoying. You know what I mean? <laughs> 